a cubic equation has two turning points. Find the coordinate of each of each one using calculus and state whether it's maximum or minimum. Okay, so the first thing, a cubic equation may, let me draw a sketch of a cubic equation. Okay, this is not this equation, so this is only generally a cubic equation may look somewhat like this, I don't know. Okay, so it has two turning points. One is, this is the minimum and this is say the maximum. At both these points, your gradient is going to be zero. So we can say your gradient at maximum is d is dy by dx is zero, and at this point, your gradient, which is again dy by dx, is equal to zero. So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So your function is given to be y is equal to one-third times x cubed minus x squared minus 24x. So we will first do it algebraically, okay, using calculus, and then we will confirm whether we have got it right or wrong. So basically we want to find the gradient. So let's find dy by dx. dy by dx is when you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So you've got one-third sitting there. So one-third times you drop the power down, that is 3x squared. Drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So 2x times 1 minus 24. And this is going to be 0. The derivative of 15 is going to be 0. So what can be cancelled here? So your 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So you can say, well, dy by dx, or your gradient function, with respect to x is x squared minus 2x minus 24. Okay. So now we, we saw that your gradient at maximum or minimum is going to be 0. So you can set that equal to 0. So this is factorizing this. So this is x minus 6 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. So we can say, well, x is equal to, when x is 6 and x is equal to 4, you have got the maximum. Sorry, x is 6 or x is equal to negative 4. So let's find the y-coordinate. So the y-coordinate is to put this back in this equation. So I'm going to use my calculator to find the y-value. Okay, so I know, so let me write it so that I can see it. So your y is uh, x cubed divided by 3. This is x cubed divided by 3 minus x squared minus 24x minus 24x plus 15 plus 15, so let me scroll this, plus 15, so let me write properly, plus 15. I want to see the equation when I type in in the calculator. So I go to table, I go to menu, uh, I want to go to table. So I want to, my key points are minus 4 and 6, so I'll type in the equation which is like this, x cubed divided by 3, Okay, minus x minus uh, x, uh, let me cancel this, x cubed divided by 3 minus x squared minus 24x plus 15. My interest points are minus 4 and 6. So I'll set a range which includes that. So I'll go from, say, minus 5 to, say, plus 7. Step of one would do, and I also turn the derivative on. Okay, so just to turn the derivative on, okay, so that you can see the derivative at each point. So my interest point is negative four. Okay, first my negative, oh, oops, this is negative four. At negative four, your y value is 73 and two thirds. This is 73 and two thirds, and your gradient is zero. Okay, so let me write the y value when x is. 6, x is minus 6, y is 73 and 2 thirds, 73 and 2 thirds. Okay, so let me go back, am I right? At minus 4, your gradient is, at this point, your gradient is 0. So the next point is 6, go to 6. At 6, it is a neat number, minus 93, and your gradient is 0. This is 
uh, I keep forgetting the number, minus 93. Okay, so it is minus 93. And at each of this point, your this is your dy by dx is, is equal to 0. Your dy by dx is equal to 0. But we want to confirm without logic. Okay, you can use your logic. So this at minus 4, this seems to be the maximum. Okay, so let us confirm because your y value and this seems to be at 6, you have got the minimum. Okay, so let's first do this graphically and then we'll use calculus. Okay, so I know the range of y value. I had to go from say minus 100 to plus 100. So let us type in the equation in graph. Go to graph and you already have the equation sitting there. So I have to scroll like this and need to change the scale. Okay, so shift F3, I'll go from say minus 5 to plus 7 scale of 1s, uh, and in y I'll go from minus 100 to plus 100. Okay, step off, uh, scale of 10, and then draw the graph. Okay, can you see your graph is like this. So this is your maximum and this is your minimum. So G sol maximum. At minus 4, yeah, can you see minus 4, 70 to 230 of the maximum, and G sol minimum. Okay, so this is how you can do it graphically. But the question is, you have to use calculus. Okay, so for that, you have to make up a table. So let me make up a table of x, y, and dy by dx. y is not important. Okay, so let us only make x and dy by dx. Okay, so x and dy by dx. Okay, so yeah, so you've got values that we have are interested in negative 4, so I'll go negative 4. So to the left and right I need to take some points. Okay, so just to show you and uh, again so at this is only a sketch, so this is the other point is 6, so I want some point to the left, so I, I can take say 5.9 5.99 and 6.01. So to the left would be, to the neg left of negative 4, what is left of negative 4? Which is negative 4.01, okay? And this is to the right, which is, uh, uh, this would be, yeah, this would be negative 3.99, I'm right? Oh, oops as you're going towards it is becoming smaller so minus 3.99 okay so let's first so the same way you go to table go to table and uh, the table the equation is right the derivative is already on I need to change the scale I'll go from say minus uh, this is minus 3 4 point so let me move this so that you can see it. Okay, so I, I want to go from minus 4.01 or minus 4.02 to minus 3.99. And the step is 0.01. Okay, just to show you the three points. Okay, so this at minus 4.01, what's your gradient? Gradient is positive. At 4, it is 0 and at minus 3.99 is is negative so positive okay from a positive gradient you're coming to 0 and then you're going to a negative gradient so I'm only writing the gradient here so I'll say at negative 0 0.1 negative 4.01 you had a positive gradient so I can say this is positive at this point of when x is minus 4.0 and it's positive zero negative okay so if you have for maximum you your gradient will change from positive to zero at maximum is zero and at to the right would be negative so this is a positive gradient this is zero and this is a negative gradient so this is this is you can confirm now this is your maximum okay and we know the gradient at this point is already zero, so let me use a different color. 
at this point it is 0. So I'm going to change the scale now. I'll move this to this side so that you can see. Okay, this is from 5 point. This is from 5.99. So set 5.99 to 6.01. So you can see only the three points. Can you see? At minus 5.99, you've got a negative gradient, zero, positive. Okay. So from a negative gradient, you're going to zero, and you're going to get positive gradient. Okay. So for, for minimum, you start with, on to the left, you have, to, to, you take any point to the left, you have a negative gradient. At minimum, you have gradient of zero, and to the right, you have a positive gradient. So this implies that this point is your minima. This point is nothing but your minimum. So we confirmed it in both ways, using calculus and also using graph.